Hey guys, Lady Liberty Stacker here. Today we're going to go ahead and try out my 12 inch stargazer. Now, I did cheat the other day, didn't have a chance to make a video because we've had a lot going on here. We had a winter storm come in for two days and we got about 15 inches of snow, give or take. Um, a lot of drifting, a lot of wind. Uh, shoveling. We still have to shovel the final last part, but wanted to make breakfast first. So this has four coats of seasoning. It did have three. I tried it. You can see where little the seasoning came off. And what I did was um, went ahead and did the mini seasoning, but it was totally nonstick. The first three coats were Easy Beasy seasoning stick, which is a combination of beeswax, grapeseed oil, and avocado oil. Uh, so it was totally nonstick, only a little came off, and I quickly wanted to go ahead and season both of them up with the Easy Beasy, just the puck. Uh, I'm not thrilled with this. Uh, at the time, I really hadn't tried Easy Beasy seasoning stick, and this is a little bit more for the money, so, but it just doesn't, you have to unwrap this, you know, saran wrap or whatever they have on here uh, to use it, so I just wanted to show you that. Uh, so I had three coats of Easy Beasy plus one more coat of of the um, bees, uh, the Buzzy Wax uh, puck, and so we're going to try the eggs again. I had I did a fried egg and I did ham and it was totally nonstick in this, but we're going to be fair. We're going to do scrambled eggs and I put another coat of Buzzy Wax on to try to compare with how this does with Easy Beasy and the last one of Buzzy Wax with scrambled eggs. Uh, we're going to have some of that before we go out and shovel some more. So I'm going to go ahead and put the camera down and I'm going to go ahead and prepare the eggs. Just kind of head scramble them up just like I've done before. I'm turn the lights on so you guys can see more. There, that's a little bit better. Sometimes I cook in the dark. <laughs> Doesn't make a good video though. All right. Just mixing this all up, I have some about five eggs in here, and I splashed in a little bit of egg beaters just to fill it out. Egg beaters are actually made out of egg whites for the most part, so a little healthier for you. And that's good. We're going to mix in. Let's, let's put this down, and I hate when it just does this. <laughs> okay, and we're going to go ahead and add some minced onion. Just like we did before. And there it is. It always gives it a really nice flavor. Really does. That's a little bit too much. We're gonna mix that up, and then once we get get them going on the skillet, we then add the cheese. We're gonna have some bacon and toast with this today. I like uncured turkey bacon the best. It's easier to cook, less fat comes out, and it tastes good. So this has been warming up now for about four minutes. And one of the things I did different with the Stargazer uh, when I was testing this one out, I have settings from low to two to middle to eight to high on my new stove. And I put it between two and the middle, which would be like medium low, but it seems like it was actually too hot when I tried the 10 and a half inch. So I tried just at two or a little over two, which is between, um, that's truly medium low in the middle. It was just a tad under medium, which is too, too hot to do scrambled eggs with any success. So we're trying it a little bit low. And I'm just going to go ahead and spray on my uh, vegetable oil, Grill Master, that I do for my mini seasonings. It should be um, warm enough. And again, we're going to double check it. I'm just going to put a drop of water on there. And it should be fine. And I have it at two. So we're going to grab a spatula here. I'm going to use this, and we're going to spray on the cooking spray. And we're going to see how this got, this does. You can hear it sizzle when I put it, put it in the skillet. 
And I got these silicone heat resistant utensils and these are really nice. Got them off of eBay. I think I paid like 20 bucks or it might have been Amazon. I can't remember which. I uh, try to go to eBay first because I'm tax exempt there. And I really like the tax exempt status because I'm a seller there so I uploaded my form. But on Amazon, it's it, I just got to pay tax like everybody else. So let me move this over. And we're just going to let it set up a little bit. And you just wait for little bubbles to come through. And then what I'm going to do is push it back and allow the other egg eggs to come forward. And let it set up a little bit more. Somebody had said in the, on one of my videos, I can't remember who, uh, but they said, I, I can't remember the the subscriber's name, but they seasoned their cast iron, oh gosh, it was like seven to ten coats before they start to look to use it. Um, but, you know, you can do that unless you're going to cook a lot of, you know, fatty meats or uh, fry some steaks or pork chops or bacon. Some people claim to do that. I like to, you know, usually three to four coats is good enough, but we're going to try this. We're going to do the cleaning afterwards. You know how to do that. I'm not going to show you that again. I'm just going to test this out with the eggs. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to... See that? Looks to be fairly non-stick. You can't do your eggs too hot. It's strictly medium-low. And the handle is not even warm. So look at that. Oh wow, okay, that's great. That was part of my problem. And this is a new stove. That could have been an omelet. <laughs> now I'm going to try to let it set up a little too long. Look at that. Yep, it has definite nonstick tents, nonstick properties. We like our eggs a little, uh, like I said the other day, a little sticking, but it's because I didn't let the, the final part set up. But this would be great for omelets. Omelets, scrambled eggs, fried eggs, anything. This is doing a great job. And I'm going to add two more coats of seasoning to this, and I'm going to put Easy Beasy on. I just think that it's a little bit darker, it's a little shinier. And maybe a little bit more non-stick. So look at that. Yep, not bad at all. And we're going to have some toast and bacon to go with. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. You, a lot of times you can turn it down or turn it off during cooking. Try to get that up. Sometimes it doesn't all want to come up, but that's really good though. And I, I think I like the Easy Beasy better, at least for these stargazers. You also need to have the heat truly at medium to low, and the smack dab in between the two. All right, so we're going to move this over, and you can see me put it on the plates. Pretty heavy. Well, you know what? We're not going to do it that way. Because I can't lift it. This thing is big. <laughs> so, you can see how it's coming off. So, I'll be back showing you what it looks like. Yeah, it's all, it's definitely non-stick. So, we'll turn the burner off. Just keep this warm. And we'll show you what it looks like on the plate when I'm all done. Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, the egg slid right out, but I had to actually scoop them out with a spatula because the, the pan is too heavy. So for, for that pan, it would probably be better to do maybe a, a grilled a chopped steak, sauteing vegetables, things of that nature. And I'll probably use a 10 and a half inch or my Lodge um, 96 uh, Lodge. Now I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> Uh, when I want to stir fry stuff. So some of those are great for everyday users. I can save my vintage. 
Uh, that's just me, though. But the Stargazer did a fantastic job. So I'm going to go ahead and sample some of the eggs. Yeah. Mmm, very good. Got a little bit of pepper on the top. We're going to enjoy our breakfast. And I'm going to be back just to show you what the pan looks like after I've done my typical cleaning and, you know, mini seasoning on the stovetop. I'm not going to show you that. You've seen it in the last video. You can watch it if you, if you missed it. But um, I'll show you what it looks like, you know, if any more seasoning did come off. And then we're going to go ahead and add a couple more coats to it. All right, guys, we'll be back. Okay hey guys, our stargazer is back on the oven, uh, or stove top, and you can see that very little seasoning came off, maybe just a little bit here and there, but uh, I haven't done the uh, mini seasoning yet, which I always do. I have it on the stove top for about three to four minutes, just to make sure everything is dried off the skillet. Uh, there's a still a few little uh, drops of water there that I wiped it off with a paper towel. Soaked it while we ate, and then just kind of scraped it out with, um, I'll show you what I actually use. These are the non-abrasive um, Scotch or Scott Bright pads. Anyway, use that, and here we are ready to mini season it, but I am going to give it another couple of coats in the oven. Uh, I'm going to use probably, just for the sake of convenience, I'm just going to go ahead and use Easy Beasy today when I mini season this and I will show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, I'm back. Uh, Pam was totally non-stick. Uh, you can see a part in the middle where most of the heat was. Um, not sure if that was, that was there before after I used it yesterday or the, the day before. I'm losing track of days here. Probably the day before, uh, before a snowstorm. But um, Anyway, that was a timer just to have me turn the oven off. The oven is off. Um, but yeah, it's totally nonstick. No more seasoning actually came off. This part just a little bit thicker. So I'm just going to put a couple of more coats on to even it out. But it does work very, very well. Um, that's pretty much my final thoughts on it. But I will show you what it looks like after a couple of coats. So stay tuned for that. It may not be in this video, though. But it does work. I still recommend Easy Beasy though with these particular skillets. Uh, just seems to perform better. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Please remember to give me a thumb up, leave a comment or question below, and go make it a great day.